just a little week in my life and bring you guys along a week with a newborn there's not a whole lot going on besides chilling and feeding changing but i feel like it's fun just to document this and especially for me to be able to look back in a few months or even a few years and just like relive it i feel like when you have a newborn i feel like you're so just like chaotic and <laughs> not enjoying it as much as you probably would want to and maybe just having these memories to look back on. I'm excited to have all these memories and even if it's a boring vlog, it is what it is, but I also have to do my nails today. Baby is sleeping, so it's actually a good time if I could do it fast. So I might try to paint them really quick. All that while he's sleeping in his bassinet down here. We use the bassinet attachment for the stroller downstairs and it's been working perfectly for us. So that's what we've been doing. And then We'll just like move that to the stroller or to my parents' house when we go to my parents or whatever it is. Uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna finish my lunch, do my nails, and head to the doctor's. able to finish the nails with literally only a few minutes to spare he slept like a babe through the whole thing now i'm going to change his diaper really quick before we head out and go to the doctor's matt is fixing the cabinet we had a uh, hinge break on the cabinet and we had to order that through amazon because home depot and lowe's didn't have it it was kind of a mess so finally getting that fixed getting the door back on the cabinet but gonna change him and then we're gonna run out. We're like, appointment starts in 20 minutes and probably gonna leave here in like the next 10. Hi, Franks. We're off to the doctor's. Got a little bit of a late start. It's a little harder to run out of the house with a baby, I found. Changed his diaper and he peed all over me, all over my legs, all over the table. He does that a lot. So that is why it took us a little bit longer to get out of the house today. Holy moly. So that was a very quick appointment, I think about 15 minutes. And they are really happy with his weight gain. So he's 11 days old. He was born at six pounds. Can you, can you mute that, Matt? Born at six pounds, nine ounces, and he is currently seven pounds, three ounces. So he gained a lot of weight. Oh, baby, with their sunglasses on. Oh my gosh, so cute. He's gained a lot of weight in the past 11 days, and he was back up to birth weight four days after he was born, and that's like really good. I think they're really happy with his weight gain, and yeah, everything was good. So, have another appointment for a month out, and that's really it. Everything's going well. So, little boy was good. I think the doctor was impressed with how, like, not fussy he was, too. He was like, he really doesn't fuss. Like, he doesn't cry at all. And I was like, yeah. He was, like, turning them all around and doing crazy stuff. And he was excellent little baby. So, going back home now. It's 2.30. He's not 2 like that all the time, though. He's not like that all the time, but he's like that a lot. Like, he's a really good baby. So, I don't have much to compare it to, but overall pretty happy with it so um gonna head back home i gotta feed him again because we only fed for like five minutes before we left because we really didn't have that much time so had this boy throw up all over me all over the couch and now he has hiccups <laughs> he ate too much and i should have stopped him but that's my bad but he's not a big thrower upper like he doesn't spit up much this is the third time since he's been born so in the car, I'm eating some chocolate from my baby shower. Actually, I have a bunch left over. Sarah's chocolate from Pittsburgh is so yummy. And we always order it for like any special events. So that's what I'm eating. But this is my first outing to go to like a store by myself without the baby. Obviously, we're not bringing the baby in stores right now. So when we go together 
like Matt will stay in the car and I'll run out and get the thing, like get whatever I need at the store or vice versa. But Matt's studying so he couldn't like come for the trip with us. And I decided I'm gonna go quickly run some errands. We're actually running out of newborn size diapers. Like we literally have like 10 left. And we have so many diapers of like crazy, like twos, threes, fours in his closet because the diaper raffle, I feel like everyone gets higher diapers because they think everyone's gonna get no newborn. And in reality, like nobody got newborn. So going out and getting some more newborn diapers. Um, Target's doing their diaper deal right now. So I'm gonna pick up like a box of newborn, a box of threes, and a small pack of twos because we went through and counted all of our diapers and that's what we seem to need. Dad is watching Lane. I just fed him before I left. I put him down to sleep. So hopefully he's good. If he needs milk, there's plenty of pumped milk in the fridge. And we have tested to make sure that he will drink that just in case I did happen to leave like this and then him not want to drink the milk. That'd be bad. So I know baby is taken care of. These are so cute. I love them. I am leaving Target. I got a box of newborn, a box of threes, and then two packs of twos. Hopefully one pack of newborn will last us until we can switch to ones. It's 140 more diapers, which will give us like 20 or so odd days if we use around eight a day. And I'd say that's kind of what we're doing. Um, so praying, I mean, he's almost at eight pounds, which is where size one starts, but they still look like massive compared to his little body. So definitely gonna wait until he's like probably closer to like nine-ish pounds to switch him. But hopefully that lasts us and then we'll have plenty stocked up for when he's like in the bigger sizes. We have so many size ones from the baby shower. That's, you, that's like what most people got us. And so I didn't get any size ones. And then I got twos and threes. But um, the deal was really awesome and I also had 15% off in my app so I spent 100 bucks and then 15% off so like $90 and then I got a $30 gift card so 60 bucks really for all those diapers good deal in my opinion so I have to pick up a few more things and then I'm gonna get home to the babes but I he's still asleep so definitely a-okay in that area. I'm sure if he wakes up, Matt's just gonna feed him and not gonna matter regardless. So, uh, gonna run to one more store really quick, pick up a few things we need for like dinner and stuff, and then I'll get home. I just ran into Walmart. Uh, I needed to get kind of a bunch of things. And honestly, Walmart is just so much cheaper than Target. I can't justify like doing a full shop at Target. So, I needed like some food things and then uh, like pads. I am not wearing like, I don't wanna wear the big pads anymore. I'm not really bleeding all that much anymore. And I don't have any like panty liners or anything like small. So I picked some of that stuff up. Sorry if that's TMI, but that's just what it is right now. Um, I had to get these like crazy long light bulbs again for our garage and just some random stuff but when I was in there there are so many cute clothes right now at Walmart they have like the cutest cargos and these like overall cargo looking things and they're so adorable I wanted to get them and I even tried the cargo pants on but honestly my body is just like not back to where I want it to be and I don't know if I'll ever go back to like my normal size so I didn't want to buy something and hope it fits in a few months and not end up losing the weight or buy something that fits me now and then end up losing the weight and not fit me then like I just really don't know but honestly dressing for a postpartum body I have found to be so much harder than dressing even for like a pregnant body and I don't know why that is but having to also like think about breastfeeding and on top of that, like my body not really being where it was, like not fitting into the clothes I used to wear before. It's just been really difficult. So um, 
I've just had a little bit of a hard time, I feel like, this week, or the past few weeks, and um, I've just been wearing biker shorts and a t-shirt, which is what I was wearing literally every day at the end of my pregnancy, too, but um, I feel like finding clothes that are breastfeeding friendly is kind of hard, so if you guys have any good suggestions of what I could wear, um, I would love to know, because <laughs> I have just been throwing on a t-shirt every day, and oh well. Just got home, baby's eating a bottle. Well, dad feeds Lane. I'm gonna show you a few things that I picked up. Nothing too special actually, but someone, I think it was Matt's uncle, there's no like name on the package, but this got sent to our house today and it's so cute. Um, so I'm gonna wash this and it's zero three months, so he'll be able to wear that soon. Uh, but I thought that was really adorable. Besides that, my pack of <laughs> diapers for newborn. Um, I also picked up this little tank top. I figured this would be easy to breastfeed in. I could just kind of pick up the bottom. And I got it in an XL just because I wanted it like kind of looser rather than like skin tight. And it was $3. It was on sale. So I thought that was a good deal. And I also just picked up a black t-shirt because I don't have many good black t-shirts. And I wanted one that was like full length and not cropped. And I only have cropped black tees. But besides that, I got like tomatoes and just like kind of random snacky things. I've been loving little lemonade packs in my Stanley. Uh, so that, brown sugar, granola bars, some pads. Nothing too exciting to be honest, but that's it. Uh, Matt is going to be cooking us dinner here after he's done feeding Lane. Okay, we just ate dinner not too long ago, did a diaper change, and now we're gonna head on a quick family walk, just a little bit. We haven't walked Frank yet today because it's been really hot and um, I need to move my body a little. So, going to do a quick 20 minute walk and then come home and settle in for bedtime. I put him down for five seconds in his snuggle me right after I changed his diaper and he peed all over himself, all over the snuggle me. Through his clothes. <laughs> Must have went like down his back. And he had to get changed. So that's why we go through so many diapers in this household. Later in the day, Matt just made us dinner. We're doing baked chicken parm and a Caesar salad. Looks really yummy. He usually hangs in his snuggle me while we eat dinner. And I really like this just for like having around like wherever we are. Makes it easy for us just to throw him down and keep an eye on him. Yep. Same spot as always. Mm -hmm. Oh, his little lip is like quivering. I just put Lane back in his onesie and I got changed out of my dress back into my normal clothes, obviously, but we did a cute little photo shoot today in his little outfit that Mimi and Pop-Up got him and so cute i think we got some good photos i'm gonna have to go through the pictures on the sd card i tried to do like the whole wrapping the newborn thing like 
their feet out, their hands out. It was very difficult, but I think I got some good pictures. And now he is wide awake, trying to get him back to sleep a little. Um, and yeah, not much going on today. We might go try to see my grandma at some point today. She hasn't seen Lane yet, and I really want her to meet him. So I'll give her a call, see if she's up for it today, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. At some point, hopefully this week, we can go see her, even if it's from a distance. I know she's not, like, she's not sick, but she's not healthy. <laughs> I think it's more just um, kind of deteriorating and like withering away type of thing rather than being sick because I don't think she's contagious by any means but she's just like doesn't get out of bed and yeah so I would like for her to meet him hopefully soon and I think you have to go meet your great grandma I think you do yeah maybe we'll go tonight maybe even just through the window so she could see you but that is what's going on. I really want to go downstairs soon, maybe later when Matt goes on his run and organize the diaper bag. I bought some things for it, so I'll show you guys that. Are we getting a fussy baby? Say, are we getting a fussy metal trucker? All right, I forgot the camera. I'm really bad these days, but I am running to the UPS store really quickly to return some things. Uh, that I've been like have sitting in the house for so long that I have to get them out of the house and return them before it's too late So I'm running out. I'm gonna grab myself some quick food and maybe a LDC while I'm out um, But baby, I just put down for a nap with dad and fed him We were doing like newborn photos So I got kind of dressed up and got some photos too because I just want some with him But I'm almost already regretting not doing actual newborn photos because I decided to do like a family shoot probably in a month or two but I'm kind of regretting that decision already so let me know what you guys prefer like what you guys would do if it was you if you'd prefer a newborn shoot of just like the baby when he was born or like a family shoot like a month or two after the baby's born kind of torn still so gonna run do my returns be back in 20 minutes and yeah it's like 95 degrees out and absolutely disgusting so there's nothing we can even do besides sit in the house all day. So it's driving me a little crazy. It is like 5.30, 5.36 to be exact. The heat has died down a lot. So I'm sitting outside. Matt just went on a run and I have the little baby monitor hooked up. Lane is asleep in his bassinet right now. And he's very peaceful. So I didn't want to wake him. And I wanted to sit outside anyway. And... He's doing good. This is one of the first times we use the baby monitor at our house. Usually um, I bring it to my parents' house when we have him in the bassinet there. And I can keep an eye on him when we go outside because it's just been, yeah. So the monitor we have is the Hello Baby. And I really like having a monitor like this, like a actual in your hand screen monitor um, instead of something on your phone because I feel like that just I don't know it just feels like another added step and you always have to have your phone on you and it's connected to the Wi-Fi and there's just like so many things that go along with having the monitor hooked up to your phone if you guys prefer that that's great but I kind of just want it like this kind of monitor so that's what is going on with Lane and while I'm, while I'm sitting out here, I'm going to take a look at the photos we took earlier. Like I said, we did like a bunch of newborn photos. And I tried my best to like wrap him and do all like the cute poses and all that stuff. But I wasn't too good. And um, newborn photos are so expensive. I reached out to a few photographers and got quoted like $1,000 to like 1200 even upward of that. And I just thought that was the most crazy, insane thing in the whole world. I am not spending $1,200 on photos of my baby. Even though I want them so badly. It's just like, that's a lot of money for pictures. So, um, like I said earlier in this vlog, I'm going to be doing family shoots in like a month or two. When he can kind of hold his neck up and like look more like what he's going to look like, I feel like. Um... Yeah, so just like in a month or two, we'll do 
a shoot with a photographer that did our maternity shoots. I loved her. She did such an amazing job. And um, yeah, I'm just excited to work with her again. So we'll be doing that in a few months. But for this, I did my own little thing. So I'm going to look at those. And then I also have started a new book called Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. I'm like maybe 20 pages in. I started it the other day when I was at my parents' house and i would like to be able to read some more of that if he doesn't wake up here in the next little bit but matt's on a run he's gonna be getting home we're gonna make a trader joe's chinese bag for dinner which those have become really really handy i feel like before i was trying to prep so much in like food prep and um honestly just thinking we were going to be like in the trenches and it hasn't really been like that we've been really good i feel like we're adjusting well the first like day or two i was definitely feeling uh some type of way and i think you guys saw that i had i had a day or two but after that i have felt really good like being able to even just run out to uh like return something at ups which is what i did today um or just running to Target really quick, knowing Matt can feed him with a bottle. And just like being able to get out of the house for an hour has really been good for me. And I don't feel trapped or depressed or anything like that. So I am happy at the way we're handling it. I feel like we're doing pretty well. And I just wish it wasn't so hot out so we can like do more out outside activities. Even just like walking. It's been really hot out. But tonight... It says it's gonna be 84 in like the next hour and it feels really nice out actually so I think we're gonna to try to do a walk our long two mile walk which I'm two weeks postpartum and I feel really good with that situation too and I feel like I'm healing really well so I'm gonna to try to do the two mile walk just take it really slow and at, like go at my pace and I think I'll be good I really don't notice any pain down there at all honestly even since the day I was in the hospital they kept asking me my pain and I was like honestly I don't have any pain at all so I've been really good and we're gonna try the walk with his fan on it won't be too hot and yeah we're gonna we're gonna go for it so going to take advantage of this time I have before he wakes up look at the photos read my book eat dinner and I'll see you guys in a little. Okay, here's our dinner. I did rice, the barbecue chicken from Trader Joe's, the um, Chinese bag, so yummy. And then we have Lane sleeping still. He literally hasn't moved in the slightest bit. Uh, so we're gonna wake him after this and go on a walk, but got my water. It's a beautiful night, like literally gorgeous out. And gonna eat dinner. Frank's here with us, and then we're gonna go on a walk. I'm making biscuit donuts again. I showed this in my vlog that I went into labor. That vlog, like that night I made them. Um, but they're so good. I cut them in half and then I kind of separate them a little to make them like a donut. And then I fry them, put powdered sugar on. They are so yummy. A sleepy boy with his dad. It is quite late in the day. We actually went to my parents and sat in the porch. So it was a beautiful day and it was not too hot. We had three fans on us. I want to show a few things that I picked up for the um, like month milestone type things. I'm not going to do anything crazy. I kind of wanted to, I was considering doing like getting a pizza and every month having like one slice more in it and having them cut it like 12 slices. But I think we vetoed that one. But no, I did buy. I never reached that one. I know I like that idea actually. Those are donuts. Um, but I did buy these little mm -hmm. milestone marker things on Amazon. I think they're like six dollars, so really cheap to have all those. And then I also bought these candles, which I thought these were really fun. Um, the number candles. I feel like I've seen them a lot on like TikTok and stuff, but they're just like a bunch of numbers. And every month we'll put like it in a cupcake and blow the cupcake out. And after 10 months, I'll have to buy another pack. I'll have to buy another pack to do like 11 and 12. But um, I picked that stuff up for the first few months. We're going to be heading to my grandma's here in like an hour or so. 
she still hasn't met Lane and she's been like on and off feeling not too great and I think I mentioned this in this vlog but I don't think it's her being sick I think it's just her uh, getting really old and not being able to function the same way so we're gonna bring her bring Lane over to see her and she's not gonna touch him or anything we're just gonna go say hi she could see him from a distance and I just want her to see him god forbid anything happens to her soon like I just don't know there's it could I don't know actually I want to do my milk separate my milk again into bags I did this a few nights ago and the milk has been in the fridge now for like three days and it only lasts four days in the fridge so I want to start separating and freezing it So there's a bird's nest in our plant in the front and I was just watering the plant because some need to be watered <laughs> and this this bird's nest we actually found out like a few weeks before we went into labor and when we came home all the eggs were hatched so it was kind of cool like we literally <laughs> had the babies at the same time but I was just watering our dead plant because I feel bad watering it when I was watering it, it must have like spooked the birds and they all like kind of like flopped out of the nest or like flew, but they can't really fly and now they're all kind of just like sitting around and I'm like panicked that I just, I'm gonna kill these birds so Matt's gonna try to put gloves on. He's gonna try to pick this one up that's hiding in the bush right here and put it back in, in its nest, but like I'm so scared. I feel like he's just like gonna get eaten. Oh no. No, oh, don't let it fly out. I don't know if that was a smart thing to do. I'm scared now. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I'm scared he's going to flop out. He made it to the ground safely before. Don't spray him again. Holy moly, that was traumatic. But the other ones are all over here in this tree they made it a little further at least they have been all kind of popping around there's one on the fence over here i just hope they don't get eaten i'm so there's one right here right there and there's one over here on the fence that one's moving good but it's so sad, I'm like flipping out. This little poor guy, I feel like he hasn't made it very far. Pull him out. Yeah, let me see. Oh, God. Oh, he got startled, his hands just shot off. <laughs> okay, this was two years. Walk over and let her see how little he is. No, we don't. Here, wait, is that full, Mom? Oh, my God. There he is. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Because they didn't want to know. Because they were the voices of the Democrat caliber. Oh, Lane is sleeping and my boobs hurt so I'm going to pump which is not something I usually do I actually only pumped one other time but since he is sleeping I'm not gonna wake him to feed him and my boob my one boob is like starting to be like engorged so I need to empty that thing and it's been a long time since he fed on my one side actually because for some reason I wasn't doing good keeping track and I think I put on my left side twice in a row so I'm gonna do this I'm gonna work on the birth vlog this is the pump I use the Spectra S2 and like I said I've used it one other time but I'm really happy I'm not a pumping mom because it just seems like so much work Obviously breastfeeding is a hundred times easier if you can just put them right on the boob, but a lot of people don't have that luxury. So pumping now, um, I was just talking to the camera for so long without it recording. So um, I was saying that I'm just gonna sit here, pump for a few minutes and work on my YouTube video. It's the birth vlog that's going up today and I'm super excited to have that. It's a little bit chaotic just because it was a chaotic time. Uh, but I did write down every single time that like things happened for us, which 
I really suggest doing so like I know exactly when I was given my epidural and exactly when I was told I was like 10 centimeters dilated and so many like important things that you probably wouldn't remember if you weren't writing it down and keeping track because it's just chaotic and crazy and you're like I don't know you're just not in the moment I feel like when you're there so it's really nice to like have to look back on so that is that I feel like I might want to sit down at some point and like kind of talk through it maybe just in a vlog and like talk about the whole experience and our hospital stay there's like crazy things happening when we got to the hospital a lady uh, gave birth in her car while we were waiting to be admitted and like we heard the whole thing like it was crazy stuff so like I kind of want to sit down and talk about that that wasn't in the birth vlog um yeah, just a lot of a lot of things so um i'm gonna work on the video because i need to get it up today we have friends coming that are bringing dinner in a few hours so gotta clean the house it's just like kind of a mess so that's the plan <laughs> happy saturday it is seven o'clock saturday night one second we're zoomed seven o'clock saturday night matt's family actually came in for the day to see baby lane and we are doing our first family outing to dinner tonight so we're gonna sit outside it's a nice night we're gonna sit outside and do pjs which is just like really casual easy dinner but look we have our special little going out outfit on how cute is he <laughs> um i think this is from target our friend got this for us for our baby shower but like, look how precious he is. <laughs> He's so tiny and cute, right? So I'm hoping he behaves for us. I am a little bit worried, I'm not gonna lie, but I bought a breastfeeding cover, got delivered yesterday, so if I have to feed him, we are good to go. I'm just gonna go and like breastfeed him instead of trying to figure out bottles and stuff because honestly, I just think breastfeeding is so much easier and I'm so happy it's working well for us because bottle feeding and pumping just sounds so much more stressful to me and honestly the all the rules and everything to it is just a lot and overwhelming so i'm happy that we are breastfeeding and it's working for us but um yeah that's what we're gonna try to do so i'm gonna pack the diaper bag i still haven't got around to organizing that i keep saying i'm gonna do that and i just haven't got around to it but i'm gonna throw a bunch of random stuff in the diaper bag and call it a day Hopefully he falls asleep here soon for us and sleeps through dinner, but if not, I can hold him and um, we'll see what happens. But got this, got a little blankie for him just in case it does get like chilly out. I don't think it will, but um, yeah, I think we are ready to try this. I'm nervous. It's our first little family outing here. <laughs> it's the first time pushing him in the street. 